Hello everyone, Mike from Downtown Comics here, and we are going to talk about all the new graphic novels coming out on the last week of 2023. Can you believe we're here? But yes, Wednesday, December 27th, will be our last Wednesday of 2023, and hopefully you guys are having a great Christmas break and getting tons of time off to spend with family and friends. But uh, for this video, you won't have to spend that too much time, because there's not a ton out, so we're going to go over it real quick. Let's get going. DowntownComics.com is, of course, the place to go to look at everything that's coming out this week. Something we, we may not, ugh, we may not have. Uh, you know, I'm not doing a seventh take of this, so you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm mumbling through it. <laughs> All right, DowntownComics.com is the place to go. Oh gosh, horrible. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. I guess I don't know why you would, because this is really sucking today. But here we go. I'm just gonna go. Th I'm just gonna power through. All right, we got a couple of ones for the kitties. Bedtime for Batman and Be a Star Wonder Woman. Both great little books to read to the kids for bedtime. The uh, Storm miniseries gets reprinted. We've got a couple more for the kitties. It's Kitty Week. Scooby Doo and Crypto. So like, yeah, if you're still looking for Christmas gift after you spent a month buying them for your kids. Here's some more. Scooby-Doo and the Crypto Mysteries, or, you know, hey, if they got a gift card or something, great. Have them come in. There's stuff to buy. Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Crypto Mysteries, another one. So two of those new. Uh, we get a How to Draw Manga. So you, if you want to draw Batman and Superman manga style, uh, that would be fun to know. A little art book. More Scooby-Doo Mysteries. This looks like a slipcase. Ah, yes. So we've got a slipcase holding four classic Scooby-Doo mystery novels. We have uh, volume four of the Five Night at Freddy's graphic novel series. So this is the brand new one. Savage Dragon. Uh, I guess it got an Ultimate Collection volume one. This is volume two. Let's see what it is getting up to. All right, you're going to get the original Savage Dragon 9 through 21 and then the Covert Action Team's number 14, in which he guest starred. All right, The Expanse Dragon Tooth, at least the first half is now reprinted, so you get one through, so one through four, one through six. Let's see, it is one through four, so the first third, okay, because it's going 12 issues. Uh, Red Sonia, it says it's volume four, but I'll be honest, I'm not. This is gonna be, all right, so you're getting, this is the 2019 Red Sonia series. Okay, hard to keep track. You get 19 through 24 of that one. Uh, where are we going to go to? Uh, we get a Love Showdown, the 30th anniversary reprint of that uh, graphic novel. Loaded Bible, that miniseries, gets reprinted. We got a new Haunt of Fear. So this is volume three, reprinting the classic EC archives. I'm going to skip right over here to Nightwing. And this is going to be volume two is now finally available in soft cover. So as always, DC likes to get a hard cover out there for almost a year and then finally do the soft cover. So you're going to get, uh, let's see, 87 through 91 of the current Nightwing series. And then the Son of Kal-El number nine, which was a guest starring appearance by Nightwing. All right. And we're going to end with two epics and a marvel omnibus all right first one pretty easy this week for me broad saga uncanny x-men that's you know 160 through 165 approximately puts it right around 1981 i'm pretty confident in that guess all right it was a little off it's 82 83 but but i was pretty much right on on the numbering so 154 through 167 annual six and some material from special edition. So right on on the issue numbers, a little bit off on the dates. And then we're going to roll right over to Silver Surfer. This one's a little tougher. So this is obviously not the modern epic. So it's the back end of the Silver Surfer series, which went into the 130. So I'm just going to say it's, yeah, 125 to 135, somewhere in there. And I guess that's going to put it upwards of... 1997, 98, something like that. Did it go farther than that? 10 years. No, I'll say 80, I'll say 97. Yeah, 1997, 1998. 
da. Yeah, it was a little off. 98 to 2000 was the numbering on. I was a little under, but I, I, was, yeah, I was right. I was close. 139 to 146 is what you're going to get, actually. Gosh, it went farther than I thought. Uh, you get the 90, 98 Thor Annual. You get the Galactus Devour miniseries. That was a good one. Uh, and Silver Surfer Loftier Than Mortals, which I don't, I don't remember that two issues. Oh, and Silver Surfer One Half from Ye Old Wizard Magazine. So that's awesome. All right. Cool. Well, there you go. I was a little off on that one. Close. And then lastly, we'll end with a Marvel Omnibus Spider-Man. It's a Ben Riley, And it's, oh, it's volume one. So this could have been out before and just this could be just the latest reprint. But what you would get is the Web of Scarlet Spider 1 through 4, Amazing Scarlet Spider 1 and 2, Scarlet Spider the 1995 1 and 2, Spectacular Scarlet Spider 1 and 2, Scarlet Spider Unlimited number 1, Green Goblin number 3, Sensational Spider-Man in 1996 from 0 to 3, oh my gosh, the Wizard Mini comic, Amazing Spider-Man 1963 407 through 410, the 96 annual, the 1990 Spider-Man series 64 through 67, New Warriors 67, Spectacular Spider-Man, the classic one, 230 through 233, the Spider-Man Punisher Family Plot 1 and 2, Spider-Man Holiday Special 95, Spider-Man The Final Adventure 1 through 4 miniseries, Spider-Man Unlimited number 11, Spider-Man Team Up 2 and 3, I believe that's the modern Spider-Man Team Up, not the original. And modern, I mean the 90s. And finally, Venom Along Came a Spider 1 through 4. Wow. Okay. So, you know, this is why sometimes omnibuses are awesome because that is that would be a huge mess to try and get all that stuff on your own. Like being able to get it all in one book, that's that's pretty cool. You know, sometimes omnibuses are just you get X-Men, 50 issues of X-Men straight up. You know, and that's that's kind of easy. If you want to spend the money, you can get that usually. But, yeah, getting all these little ones and twosies, one shots and annuals and stuff, that would be, <laughs> that'd be kind of a pain in the butt if you're a fan. So if you're a Ben Riley fan, that is a very easy way to get all that material. All right. I've extended this way longer than it had to be. I apologize for that. I guess you were here a little bit longer, but that's my fault again. Have a great Christmas holiday. I hope everyone is having a fun time with their family and friends, and then we will welcome in the new year next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.